This is Twit. Tell me a little bit about Lottie. You created Lottie, and I look like I'm even looking at the URL. It's Airbnb.io slash Lottie. And yet this is this is something that from my you know poking around, it seems like a lot of companies are using this. What exactly is Lottie? What is the association with this and Airbnb? Uh, explain a little bit about this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lottie is an open source library that I started working on while at Airbnb and continued to be uh, the primary maintainer of for Android, uh, I should say. And effectively, if you think about shipping an image, we have JPEGs. And if you are an engineer or building a website or something like that, and you want to ship an image, you can drop in a JPEG or a PNG in these established formats and it'll just go. It'll display pretty much anywhere. But there's never really been something like that for animations. There have been things like GIFs or uh, MP4 movie files, but they have all kinds of problems. They're really big. They get you can't scale them up. They're not vectors, so they get pixelated. It doesn't support things like transparency or dynamic theming or all that kind of stuff. So Lottie allows you to uh, designer motion designers to create vector animations, export them as a file to just a JSON file, and then. There are players on Android and web and iOS and basically every other platform. So you can just drop in the file and play it. Um, plus there's lots of additional little features to do things, as I mentioned, like theming, dynamically setting the progress and all kinds of stuff uh, to make it more interactive and rich. Um, if you've used uh, a lot of Google apps are using it now, many, many apps are using it, but Google has uh, really adopted it in a big way. So if you've set up a Google Home device or a Chromecast device, you might remember these bouncing circles and boxes yes. and yeah. uh, like those, like the Wi-Fi thing that kind of like, it's like a windshield wiper that goes back and forth. Yep. Any that and any other time you see something like that, it's almost always Lottie. No way. Well, that's something to be proud of because you see a lot of that. I mean, <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. That's, that's really cool. Yeah. And so an open source library that, I mean, you also have to feel proud about the fact that, I mean, t to that point, like so many major companies using this, that's that's pretty awesome. But what, like, what was the foundation of this? What what uh, prompted you to create this? Oh man, yeah, it's funny how these things start. It's uh, the original plugin for After Effects, which is the designer tool, and the web player was called Body Movin. The name came from the HTML body tag, and it was like you're making it move. And it was made by both sides were made by an engineer, Hernan Teresi, an Argentinian engineer uh, who just made it for fun. In like 2014, 15, he started working on it. Um, and then fast forward to 2016, one of the iOS engineers at Airbnb, Brandon Withrow, decided to see if they like discovered this thing. It was barely used at all at that point and started to build a little prototype on iOS. And then after a couple months of that, I saw a little demo and immediately it was obvious to me. Um, it happened to be a, a light bulb animation, which was not ironic because it was, because I was you had like, light oh my God, moment. this thing's amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. If it exists on web and iOS, like no one's gonna use it if it's like awkwardly two platforms. So if yeah. I can get this working on Android, this is gonna be this huge unlock. There's nothing like it that exists. So, um, but I, I had no background in graphics and I was utterly convinced that I would run into all kinds of problems and limitations in Android APIs that would make it not possible. Um, and so I just started building it. We built a square and then we made it move and then uh, we made a circle and we made it move. And then we kept building feature after feature after feature to the point where you could start to build actual complex animations and just, they would kind of just work. Um, and then it became obvious that it was so cool. We had to open source it, but it's one of those moments where it's like, you're going to, you're going to throw a party and you don't know if anyone's going to show up. Yeah. Uh, and so That's super yeah, inspiring. Had, right. One, one dot oh, and we are like, all right, well, we have this thing. There's nothing like it out there in the mobile world. So let's just throw it out there and see what happens. Um, and on the first day it made front page of Hacker News. It got hundreds and or thousands of GitHub stars right away. Um, today, the the Android library has 32,000 GitHub stars or something like that, uh, mm -hmm. as do the other platforms on their own. And it's it's really become like the the ubiquitous when and anytime anyone wants to do motion in web or mobile, it's Lottie. There's pretty much nothing wow. out there to this day. Yeah, I, I've used Lottie a few times. Uh, we don't have anything like actively in Trello right now that uses Lottie, but whenever I do use it for like hackathon weeks type things, it's always a crowd pleaser. And I think part of 
what's really awesome about it is that, well, number one, it it's kind of based on After Effects. And kind of like, I think before when we would do like kind of animations in Android and try to do kind of a similar like experience on iOS, it's always felt like kind of like two different paths. And, you know, there's always kind of like each individual platform has its kind of like, like difficulties and limitations, but it's kind of cool this idea that for example, I could take a, a designer at like my work who's really excited and actually has experience with After Effects and work with them and they can build, you know, kind of a a a delightful experience, but with parity across and then that works on both iOS and Android, which is pretty cool. And like there's a lot of really we could probably go into a lot of technical details, but there's a lot of really great things about the way that Lottie works as well. There's a lot of like dynamic things you can do with it, which I really like and I'm trying to like get going. But I, I just think it's really awesome. I think also that the fact that it's open source is like a big credit to like Gabriel and the other contributors and For also sure. just um also I think it's just a good like I, I, so I really wanted to get Gabriel on here because I don't think he's just an amazing engineer, but also a really big fan of Android, the space. And I think something that Android, the community, Android community is really proud of is kind of like our long history of open source. People do something cool. They solve hard problems and then they put their code out there for other people to do the same so that they, mm -hmm. other people can kind of get past these problems and do amazing things. And so I think Gabriel is a really good example of that with Lottie and some of his other open source uh, projects. But yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's a really is a really cool crowd pleaser. And I know I've mentioned like previously, like um, like other times about how much being uh, being able to do one thing for two platforms once is a, is is really important. Um, and a lot of times we talk about that with like architecture, business logic, but Lottie is that, but for animations. And like Gabriel, I thought it was really cool that you were talking about Path and like getting really excited about the animation uh, on there. And it kind of feels like that's kind of like a common thread, like that kind of enjoyment and that kind of, um, enthusiasm and wanting to kind of solve these kind of problems is like, is like kind of like a common thread throughout your career from like, you know, re-implementing path to, you know, being a contributor or being a, the maintainer of Lottie. So anyway. Yeah. Pretty rad. <laughs> right. Sorry. On. I just bragging that's on so cool. Gabriel. That <laughs> that's on that's Gabriel cool. Now. I think it's totally deserved. I think what, what comes to mind for me is that it's really inspiring to, um, to hear that kind of the, the, the story of how that was created, because that's just another example of, you know, someone recognizes that there's a need for something that doesn't exist, takes the chance that, you know, to, to spend the time to do it out of, of sheer passion and, and enjoyment and everything. And who the heck knows what's going to happen. And it turns out it ends up changing a lot of people's lives. A lot of developers, you know, rely on that tool as a result of the work you did. So you've got a lot to be proud of. I mean, that's a pretty awesome opportunity. So. Thank you. Yeah, it, it's fun to work on. It's, it's such a visual project too. It's like I'll sit down yeah. and be like, all right, this animation yeah, doesn't fun. work, and then right. I'll sit down. Actually, my favorite place to work uh, is airplanes. I'm the person on my laptop on airplane <laughs> because I get like no Wi-Fi, a certain amount of time, so, like, and Lottie yeah. is Focus, just like right. the perfect yeah. thing to work on on a yeah. plane. I was in Hawaii last week, and I did not work while I was there, but I definitely worked on Lottie the entire flight there and back. And I don't right. know, I've just made it my like my personal time to work on it, and probably half of Lottie has been written on airplanes over the years. Ha, that's awesome. Nice.